I don't want to sound like Ego Raptor, but there, there is, is so, so much. much. God damn waiting, waiting in this movie. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another movie analysis. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the final movie in the Rings trilogy. Skipping the first two because we're just going to go ahead and be done with this. This is going to be the last serious video of this uh, little series. Uh, but right away, we are going to start with every single problem of Rings because... There is like this huge drop in rating and to people who haven't seen all three of them It doesn't make any sense and it doesn't make any sense because Anyone who just looks at it from the surface level thinks oh, that's just like every other ring movie uh, But one thing that is a criticism is there were way too many plot points in this movie And there were way too many plot points in this movie because they were trying to just load it down everything in this movie has to have an explanation the first two movies every single little frame every single little event became its own plot point that they had to solve the mystery and the tale of samara's life that's how that video worked this new video however every single thing has a plot point but they can't explore it as in depth remember the first two movies were like the same characters so it was the same continuation and it was about four hours long in total this one is two hours long, and for reasons I'll get into later, it's just not, it doesn't allot the time in the specific manner that you really need. My next point, it tries to be something that it's not. Way too hard to be something that it's not. They have this entire, like, coalition or gathering of people who are watching this film and keeping track of everybody else who they show it to, and then tell them to watch it as well so they don't die. That's not at all feasible. It's not very entertaining that so many people just know about this film and they're just constantly getting people to watch it because it's a digital profile or a digital file rather and because of that because of that there's nothing really to there's no mystery to it anymore with a VHS it was like whoa this thing just appears that's scary with a digital file however um, you can just get those anywhere they can just be on the internet everyone's heard of two girls one cup uh, probably I think it was three guys one hammer where the guy was killed um, a lot of hidden shake that bear a lot of weird internet videos that just popped up and that you could just find that were weird But they were files and which brings me now to the needlessly complex criticism Everything is encoded and they found a video within a video now. I don't know how you could do this with VHS I don't know if you, even if you could do that, but what I'm the, the problem is why did none of these symbolisms? show up in the first two movies when they had watched the movie repeatedly they were breaking it down but they weren't doing it as an in as in depth as digital encoding they were just looking at the film closer but they still looked at it frame by frame so where does the second video come from i guess is a, a pretty big criticism i have you can't just materialize it out of nowhere samara is just not going to like go yeah i want to edit a new video no it's for my channel you know it's, it's how it is man <laughs> i just I'm, i gotta take a break from killing people to look out for my youtube channel can't be uh can't always be just you know just murder did I really just spill pop on me? God damn it. This movie makes us feel sorry for Samara, and that's just another thing that these movies do. I don't know why they try to take us down the direction of, oh, feel sorry for this little girl. She has such a sad life. Well, she has a sad life, but she was also twisted in life. She was, uh, she's homicidal. She's a psychopath. Bad things happen around her. She's got bad juju. A thousand years bad juju. It's, it's really not viable anymore to make us feel sorry because it's just a waste of the audience's time. Case in point, there was also, like, no minorities. I know these guys were in the beginning, but that's it. Hashtag white people problems, man. So let's get into her backstory, right? This movie does two movies worth of backstory in one half of a movie. And what do I mean by that? I mean that we explored that one video for two movies, a total of four hours, to explore every piece of the puzzle to find out what happened to Samara, how she lived, how she died, etc. This movie takes half the the length of one movie so a quarter of the time we we've, we've allotted so far and explores Samara's mother and how that has impacted her life it's it just adds so much that you can't process it all at once or it you can't process it as meaningfully which brings me down to the length it's either entirely too long for what it does or it's entirely too short it either needs to cut down on what it's trying to do and just explain a few major points of those hidden films. Or what it needs to do is it needs to extend the amount of time that we get to really explore those plot points. But the major problem with this movie when it comes to time is 
waiting. I don't want to sound like Ego Raptor, but there, there is, is so, so much, much goddamn waiting, waiting in this movie. You wait 46 minutes before it actually gets into the story it's telling. 46 minutes of an hour and 42 minute movie. Okay, for those of you who aren't good at math, that's roughly a 100 minute long movie, right? If 46 minutes of 100 minutes is spent building up to get into the story, you're adding on to a story we already know. So this is the part where we are stop we stop recapping and we're getting to okay, so this is the new part. It's it's like the first 40 first of all, if you're bad at math, that's nearly 50% of the movie is spent just just recapping that's not entertaining I, imagine a dragon ball z right that i think that's like a meme actually it spends like half the episode or a third of the episode recapping to build you up to like a, a, another fight and then it spends another third of the episode just just prepping you for the next week i think that was a meme at some point but that's what it does it spends half of its time just going Previously on The Ring, uh, Samara has killed people. You watch a movie and you die. Trump is president. I don't know, just something. And it just builds up to this bullshit. And then you just get in there and you're like, okay, fine, now let's see what we've got. And they're like, oh my god, it's a video within a video. Oh god. We have to find what's happening. We have to figure out what happened to her. I don't think we should. Let's do it. Yeah, all right, let's go. And then it's, then it's the whole thing of them just doing it all again, but in half the time. So you either spend a quarter of the time actually exploring the shit that makes the makes Samara a you know a good fucking character, or. You need to speed that process up and get to more death, more excitement, more thrill. You're trying to be so much of one thing and it's not working. It's just not working. It, you've also got this problem with like a difference in attack. So Samara has this really big philosophy of you watch the movie, seven days later, she comes out of a television screen, looks you in the eye, and you die. That's like her thing, right? When this movie, it starts you off when he's on an airplane. Now, traditionally, if Samara is on a plane, or not on a plane, what the hell am I talking about? If Samara is going to be in a room with you and other people, and only you have seen the video, as long as they don't look at her, they're going to live, traditionally. Um, not in this movie. She crashes an entire airplane, which means somehow she has this, this possession power of all technology now. She is the technology goddess. You better hope you don't have a Nintendo DS, because she'll just pop out of there and kill you. It's-a me, Yamai! <laughs> mystery is not existent in this universe anymore it's one of the biggest problems they have they still try to like make her mysterious like we don't know i'm a very small channel and this is probably going to get like six views so i understand that completely if you take one thing from this video take this it does not matter if the characters on screen are confused or mystified or anything it doesn't matter if the audience us if we know what's going to happen, if we're not mystified, if I'm not mystified watching this movie, if I'm not confused, if I'm not scared, then then it doesn't matter because your goal is to scare me. Your goal is to mystify me. Your goal is to impress me. Or I'm the audience, right? I'm not like speaking just for me. I'm not. I'm not that narcissistic. But your your goal is to is to get the audience engaged. Your goal is to get the audience thrilled. Your goal is to get the audience. To be afraid of your character. The goal is to get the audience to like the fucking movie. And the more you try and bury it. The more you try and not do that. The more you try and focus on, oh, the characters are intrigued. The characters are happy. The characters are scared. Is the audience intrigued? Is the audience actually paying attention? Well, I don't fucking know. Let's just keep recap. Let's just keep fucking going in the whole movie. And then... This movie constantly has to recap everything because they have explained so much. They're trying to catch you back from two video, two movies, right? And those two movies took place years ago. Years. So they have to recap everything. Well, they don't, actually, because it's a very simple concept. And what they can do is just kind of, like, hint at it. It could take five minutes to catch you up. They, they could, like, like find the file and be like, oh, my God. Oh, this person. They, they kept, like, documentation and shit. Oh, it's, it's, it's this, and it's this, and it's this. Boom. Caught up. Done. It's done. We're caught up. Five minutes. Flashback. Flashback. And boom. We are up to speed, we don't need to constantly refresh everything, and we are on with the movie. We gotta go, go, go. It's a horror movie. You gotta keep people tense. You gotta pe keep people scared. When you take time and you waste time and you take the time and you just, you just, you just shove it. You're losing valuable, like, horror time. You're losing valuable story building time. Story is so important with this character because that's what makes her scary. Why she kills is awesome. She's such a cool character 
and and you just you just you just you just suck. You just suck the fun out of her, man. You can't do that, all right? And then we're gonna move on now. So I said that, now I need to contradict myself when I say that this movie had almost no pause in it whatsoever. No pause. It was non-stop the entire thing. That does not give your audience time to digest it. So what you have to end up doing is recapping more. So you actually just keep re... It's like a constant loop of information, right? Samara was sad. Samara was drowned. Samara died. Samara haunts. Samara, Samara, Samara. But now you have her mother and Samara, it's two wheels constantly turning in opposite directions because the audience going in, if they had even watched the previous movie or movies of the Ring trilogy, then they're going to have Samara's wheel spinning in their head, like, oh, this is because of this, and this is because of this. And then, <clears throat> and they're also going to know that, you know, Samara's mother is alive. She's in a mental institution. Why is she in a mental institution? Why does she want to drown her baby? This is answering those questions this movie does. Um, but it's kind of rushed at the same time, and there's no pause because you're trying to tell a story of two movies worth of information in a quarter of the time. And that's just, that's just not gonna work so you have all this information going through your head and it doesn't stop it doesn't stop information needs to have a pause you need to have a time to set yourself straight if you can't set yourself straight then you become something that you don't want and that is confusing does that make sense did i just go on a tangent i don't even know how i'm gonna animate that am i just gonna have like like bits of the film playing because it's probably what i'm gonna have to do Jesus Christ. So I mentioned her new attack, and now let's go again with her new powers. Samara has apparently new powers. She is the Jesus of villains. Bring to her your blind and she will make them see so she can kill them. That's never been a thing. It's never been like, oh, as long as you don't look at her. That's a, that's like the freaking what was the movie that sucked? Bird Box? Yeah, it was like the Bird Box, except it's no longer, you know, it, was, it came out before, so it can't say it ripped it off. But it, it's the same premise, right? If you look at her, you're dead. So he blinded himself, but that now doesn't work because she'll just be like, she'll like stare at you and give you the stare. She is essentially, God, hold on. I'm going to look up a character that has a stare power. I'm just going to type in the stare and see what that comes. Let me turn my, my capture on real quick. Turn my capture on, and we're going to type something in real quick. The stare. Because I want to know what comes up. Alright, so we've got uh, the stare. What? Uh, it's not the first result, but um, this needs context. Uh, uh, this character is... Okay, that's a horror thing. That's neat, but that's not... That's just a stare, though. But again, this is this character. What the hell? Hold up. Hold up. No, what is this? What what is this? What is this? Okay, so that's a good gif. I'm going to use that. Right there. Um so this is essentially what she does to them. She just looks at them. What is this character's name? Fluttershy? Yeah, that'll work. What the hell? Oh, sweet Jesus. Yes. I'll use that. Damn. Okay. That works. Fuck. Anyway. Uh, 59 seconds. Minute on the... Uh, but, yeah. So, essentially, you've got this entire stare thing going on. And it's just like, oh, cover your eyes. You'll be fine. It's not fine, though. You're, you're, going, to, you're going to die, regardless. And not only that, she again, I mentioned she can just take over technology. She can pop out a cell phone. She can crash planes because why not she needs to have more powers she needs to have more you know um a, a minor critique i've already mentioned it but i'll just repeat myself the movie had the same plot as the first two just in half the time so it really was rushed the jump scare setup was absolutely abysmal because it almost didn't have one there was almost no jump scare setup whatsoever it would just happen, which it, most people could argue that that's a really good setup. Not the case, because almost every time there was a jump scare, it was either when someone else was dying, not a main character, or it was uh, when nothing was actually happening, no one was in danger. So once again, since we have the same plot for the first two movies, this little girl is in trouble. We need to help avenge her because she's killing out of vengeance, help her find peace. Oh my god, she's still evil. That happened again. Uh, so, once you saw it going around that path on this movie, you could easily go, Hey, look, 
It's going to happen again. And then it did. And you're like, what? No way. She's evil. What? That's crazy. It's just the same bullshit, man. Happens every time. Finally, the, the trailer kind of hinted that the file was going to go digital. So, it made you think that this was going to be like the major plot point of the entire movie. But it wasn't. It was just that they were going to do the same thing that they do in the first two movies. It, leading to my final point, not everything has to go through technology. Not everything has to be, you know, updated to the millennial era. I get it. People don't have VHS players anymore, so it wouldn't work. It'd be like if it was a cassette tape. But at the same time, there are other ways to make it scarier. It could just turn into be like something that affects your TV or something like that. I don't know. A weird hidden video on YouTube. I'm sure there are tons of them. You, you could type in a ton of videos that just, you type them in and, oh look, if you watch this video you'll die. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type that in right now again. Let me turn my capture back on. Three, two, one, capture. Okay, so now we are going to type in, um, if you watch this, you die. If you watch this, you die. You cannot see this as I type, but... If you watch this, you die. Look at that. Let's go to videos. If you watch this, you die. Shane Dawson. Oh, that's obvious. Curse videos. If you watch these video, if you watch this video, you will die. If you watch this, you will die. Um, they say if you watch it, then you will die, 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 die. So YouTube is just crawling with this kind of thing, and people click on it all the time. It would be interesting just to see one that actually affected, like it was actually real. Not like um, Unfriend Me where they tried to make social media scary, which isn't gonna work. Especially when if you log on Facebook, there's no one just like like dead ghosts trying to kill you. It's always, hello, you are very beautiful. Can I see Bob's in Vagana? Bitch lasagna. Well guys, <sighs> that is going to do it for me. Uh, it's been fun. Really looking forward to the next video where I just basically make fun of all three of them instead of just actually critiquing them. I, I, I do apologize for the ranting to an extent. I actually thoroughly enjoyed getting that out there. Let me know what you guys think of the ring, of rings. Let me get some more movie suggestions down there. Because I'm running out of ideas of what good movies are to actually look at. And I'm having to go through my back catalog. And it's just... Mm, some of them are really expensive too. That's a problem. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.